Welcome, 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 you guys. It is your girl, Brown Skin Exoticals, and I'm back with another video for you guys. I want to wish a merry Tuesday to all my beautiful biracial, multiracial, MGM, Afro Latina, Caribbean, West Indian, European, and American exoticals all around the world. We're going to start today's video with this quote off, and it says the victim mindset will have you dancing with the devil, then complaining that you're in hell. This quote perfectly demonstrates the overall pathology of dark-skinned Black women and Black men, but let's talk about Black women in particular. All of their issues are self-made. We've said it with parenting, pedophilia in the Black community, things of that nature. These are issues that they perpetuate, but then they'll still blame mixed and light-skinned women. These women will also ruin their own media representation on TV and in real life, and then blame mixed and light-skinned women for, quote-unquote, taking job opportunities from Black women, from stealing Black men, saying that everything we got was because of colorism or texturism or featureism, saying that we're privileged, that we don't go through abuse, and things like that that keep getting mixed and light-skinned women harmed because people think, oh, well, they don't really go through anything because they're light-skinned or because they got girly hair, perpetuating that cycle. And I don't know about you, but I am tired of this narrative. Mixed and light-skinned women have it 10 times harder than dark-skinned black folk. I'll say it again. Mixed and light-skinned women have it 10 times harder than dark-skinned black folks. Regardless of whether you are light-skinned, brown-skinned, or dark-skinned exotical, we know what it's like to have the hate from all sides. We get what it's like to have to deal with racist, monoracial people of all races in all shades. So we know what it's like to be told no. So we as mixed and light-skinned people Fight until we get told yes. That's just how we are. And that's why we always come out on top. Dark-skinned black women get mad because they've lied to themselves and said that we're the most abused. We're the most sexualized. We're the most oppressed group in the world. And they feel like, oh, I don't have to work for anything. Everyone has to hand me stuff. And that's not how life works. These women are the only type of women who will throw their image under the bus. They will literally leave the house with hair like this. And there's nothing wrong with 4C hair, but the fact that she's like, you know what, I'm not going to do anything with it. You're just supposed to love me and accept me as I am when no other type of women will do that. Let's be honest. Leslie Jones is not a feminine, dark skinned black woman. In fact, she literally got famous off of being the loud, ratchet, overly masculine, dark skinned black woman. But no dark skinned woman is going to say she makes us look bad. All these hood rat rappers who are popping out like, I don't know what nowadays. These dark skinned black women don't say, oh, well, what does this do for long effects of colorism, texturism, featureism? They never hold their own accountable. Instead, what they do is turn around and blame exotical women. And it's funny because regardless of your size or shape or mix, even with women like beautiful Naomi Osaka, who is a taller and more muscular mixed race woman, but she still has that femininity and class that these dark skinned black women will never have. Now, don't think for two seconds, oh, well, I know I'm a lighter skin exotical, but I have kinky hair. I have a big nose. I have browner eyes. Doesn't matter. They're still going to hate your guts. And on the other side of the spectrum, I'm a darker skin exotical. And yeah, I have curly hair, but I have darker eyes or big lips or I quote unquote look black. Doesn't matter. All exoticals, all mixed folk on my channel accept their mixture and they're proud of who we are. And special shout out to all our lighter skin exotical counterparts because I know they gun for you guys the hardest. Especially if you're racially ambiguous looking and you don't give these women time of day, they hate you with a the passion. Keep your crown on, sis. They wish they could be you.